So in this video, we are going to learn that again that how to print that other type of pattern. So this one here, I need to print that pattern of one, then two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep going like this, and we have to take that input number of rows from user. So now we know that how is this one going to work. So this will be used for this and this. How many number of rows and column it's going to decide. And similarly, if you put that here, then what it's going to do it. So now we'll go back, and now we'll see that in runtime how it's going to work. So first part is that I need to take that input from user. So I need to convert it as well. So input. So enter number of rows. So now, first thing now we got it, number of rows. So now second thing, again I need here the value of k. I uh, will get to know why we need this one. Sorry. So now we got that we need slice to one, and again we need for loop as we know for i in range. So this one I install that intelligence that why it's throwing me, and it's easy to use that. So that also I explained in one of my other videos. So you can look into that there, and I will provide that link in my description as well. Thank you. And then now we need that different again one more row to do that row as and column. So now this time since we go back and see our slide, we need to start with one, and then we need to go back go ahead from there. I start with one, and then I will go with i plus of two. Since I am going with one, then I need to do plus, or else I need to print normally. Then I need to print. So this time, what we need to print? Now we need to print that k, and then we need to do in for the new line. So now here, one more thing we need to do: k equals to k plus one. And then we need to do that print upline. So now I will first run it, and then I will explain you how it's going to work. So let's see now. So suppose if I enter three, now we got that one, two, three, four, five, six. If we go and look that one, two, three, four, five, six, we need to print it. Then how this one going to work? So now I initialize k equals to one. Now we know that. This one used for the row number of row, and this one going to take care of that column. But now this value going to matter for us now k. The first time k value is one. Now we doing that increment. That's why second time if it's come to this loop when i value equals to one, then k value is already two. So it's printing k equals to two, and then it's doing plus one. So k become now three. So this time it will loop into this one more time because we have that value. So if you see here. For one, it's already done. Next time, it will go for the second. If it's go for the second, we have three, so it's printed three. Now it's came out of this because it's not going to execute this inside loop. Then again, it's went for this one. Then it will execute again. Let's start with four, five, and six, and then it will print it out here. That's why we use that k equals to increment operator by one, and then we able to achieve that whatever we need to print that. pattern i hope you like this video